All right, everybody, it's Thursday, and Thursday is uh, ab day or leg raise day uh, in the Veterano Plus program. So uh, we start off with the three working sets. This is a kind of a, a modification on the Neuromass workout. I have my speed and my isometrics afterwards, but I'm working a little bit more on strength so I'm just getting my grinder sets in one chunk, three working sets with a minute of rest in between. Now with this, I'm working on keeping my anterior chain tense, my hips, my quads, the shins, and of course my abs. I'm also working very much on my back tension and engagement because a lot of people, they're kind of critical of like the big six in convict conditioning and they'll be like, oh, there's only one back exercise in convict conditioning and you need that more than that to avoid imbalances and so on. The fact of the matter is there's actually four back exercises in the big six, uh, this being one of them. Leg raises, especially when hanging, require tension in your pulling chain. It's an isometric tension, but remember, tension is tension. It doesn't really matter if you're moving or if you're still, it's still gonna have an effect. So I'm working a lot on keeping myself tight, my lats tight, my shoulders, my biceps. You can see here, I'm just kind of keeping my back loose. In fact, most of the time now, what I'm thinking about is the muscle engagement of my back and my abdominals are right along par. So I see this as just as much back and pulling chain as it is about abs and flexion chain. Uh, I'm also, of course, as you can see, using the towels. This is a way that I can kind of get in a little bit of the shotgun muscles of working on grip strength at the same time. So that way I don't have to spend a lot of extra time doing separate exercises. I can do it all at once. I'm also working on trying to keep my elbows pointing forwards. My, I'm getting a lot of arm torque on this one. And I'm pulling inwards towards my center line, both with the muscles in my back, my upper back, and also my legs. I'm trying to bring, push my legs together and squeeze my legs together a little bit. You'll also notice, of course, as I'm getting tired, my range of motion starts to go down. My pace starts to speed up a little bit. I'm using a, sh a little bit more momentum and I'm not hanging out at the top quite as much. This is, as I like to refer to it, as technical erosion. It's something that happens with fatigue. You just get a little bit tired and uh, how you do the exercise starts to erode a little bit. And it's worth mentioning that the bulk of your success, especially as you get more advanced, will come from eliminating and preventing as much of that technical erosion as possible. It's not gonna come just from more reps or more weight or a lot more resistance, but how you're doing the reps that you're doing. So you could do 12 repetitions uh, with a little bit more momentum or a little faster pace or not as much range of motion. And then over the course of a month, you have a slower pace, you have more control, you have more range of motion. And even though it's the same workout on paper, you're much stronger because you enhanced the technical abilities of doing those reps. So look within the reps for a lot of your progression, not just in adding reps. And as always, I'm doing this without a lot of video editing. I wanna show you guys what my actual workouts are like. I really do, the bulk of my work, uh, my muscle building workouts are really, honestly, no more than seven to 10 minutes a day. I'm not doing a whole lot of time with these workouts, partially because I don't have the time. It's the irony of uh, a, a lot of personal trainers is we work in a gym, but we don't have a lot of time for our own workouts, especially during this time of year. So anyway, there are my three grinders. I finish up there. Now just a couple of finishers, and at this point, I could just walk away, and my abs would be pretty sufficiently stimulated. These are just kind of really hammering at home, because building muscle is very much a uh, about muscular fatigue. So I'm just kind of using a regression here. Line leg raises, of course, are an easier technique from hanging leg raises. You can also see my knees are starting to get a little bit more bent, so I'm starting to regress uh, my technique a little bit more. I'm trying to pull up with my abs as much as I can. This, again, is not about picking up your legs. Despite the name of leg raises, uh, abdominal work is about picking up your hips, tilting your hips upwards, and the legs are a secondary thing, even though it, visually it's the, the big thing that you pay attention to. So I'm trying to pull my hips up. And even though I'm still here laying on the floor, I'm still working on keeping my back tense because your back is the foundation of your training, and especially your core training. 
the strap planks here or rope planks set the tension first then coming up about 15 to 20 seconds i'm holding again keeping the back tight that is what i'm thinking about what i'm focusing on keeping the arms uh contracted and uh just holding for as much as i can so i got a couple reps or a set of each there just gonna loosen up for a little bit i'm loosening up my back uh, and I get about a minute or so in between these and uh, then I go after it one more time and at this point I'm just kind of hanging on for dear life as far as keeping my muscles engaged keep trying to prevent the tension from shutting down weakening the tension in some of these exercises and working on keeping a good amount of tension throughout my muscular chain because at the end of the day that's all that matters, is the tension control you have in your muscles. Everything else is a secondary influence that's not nearly as important. So one last time here, I'm trying to get my tailbone a little bit off the ground, I'm trying to slow this down a little bit. I'm trying to pick up quickly, but I wanna have a little bit more control coming down as well. It's okay if you have a little bit of an arch in your back as you're coming down, range of motion in the spine is fine, but as always with these leg raises and just core training in general, your abs should be really the main support of your spine. And if you're feeling a lot of pulling and tugging in your lower back, it means that your abs are no longer providing that support and other muscles like your psoas are really trying to make the exercise happen, a lot of hip flexion, and it's time to jettison or terminate the set. So just got a couple of last grinders there. And this again is part of the key to really effective core and abdominal training is really intense stuff. It's not about doing a thousand crunches, but what exercises can you do to be pretty intense so you're gassing out the muscles very quickly within a few minutes. No holding, just keep trying to keep tension again in the back, in the hips, getting tired, and that's about it. Let me know your questions below. Be fit, live free.